What's going on guys? This is Mike, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the new white iPod Touch 4th generation. Now this is still a 4th generation model. There is no difference in terms of specs and hardware. The only difference being is we now have a white version in addition to the black version. We also have a price cut, so the 8 gig model, instead of starting at $239, now starts at $199. The 32 gig model is still uh, $299 and the 64 gig is $399. Now, of course, all new iPod Touches now ship with iOS 5, so we have some of the unique iOS five apps loaded onto this label here. So we have iMessage, Newsstand, we have music instead of iPod, and we have reminders. I have to say one of my favorite things about the iPod Touch is it's very slick packaging. It's this nice crystal case, uh, very nice quality, so you can see the iPod Touch just sort of floating there in the case. Very nice. So we have iPod Touch on the side. We have all our information on the bottom, including the model number and the size. So of course, we have designed by Apple in California, assembled in China iPod Touch on the side, and on the back we have 32 gig. So in order to open this, we're just going to pull this little tab. Let's pull this up. There you go, so it stays hinged at the bottom. All we have to do is lift this up. And we're going to set this aside for just a moment while we look at the contents. So we have Designed by Apple in California, and inside we have our headphones. So let's see what kind of headphones they gave us. So it looks like these are the standard earbuds. There is no remote control or microphone on these. So we have fingertips, which is just a quick user manual on how to use the multi-touch features of the iPod Touch. We have some user use and license agreements, and we have some very tiny Apple stickers. Inside, we also have our USB sync cable for charging and syncing your iPod Touch to a computer. With iOS 5, this essentially just turns into a charging cable. Syncing can now be done wirelessly. So you can see the iPod Touch is fastened to this uh, plastic tray, so all we have to do in order to release it is pull this tab. And that releases the plastic, which now allows it to slide right out. So let's just peel off this label. And there's our white iPod Touch. Taking a look around the iPod Touch, you can see the FaceTime camera on the front. And on the bottom, we have the home button. Now, this is particularly evident on the white model, but you can see that the glass sort of floats above the frame of the metal body. And, of course, we have this stainless steel metal backing. On the bottom, we have a speaker, the 30-pin dock, as well as a headphone jack. On the back, we have 32 gigs, iPod and the Apple logo etched on the back. On the side, we have our volume controls up and down. Also carried over is the same one megapixel camera capable of recording in 720p. Uh, and we do have that little microphone right next to it. And on the top is the sleep wake button. Now pressing the sleep wake button wakes it up for the first time. And you see the uh, logo animate and we're ready to set it up. Now, now of course, this is a feature of iOS 5. You no longer need to connect this to iTunes in order to activate it. So let's get started. We're English, next. I mean, United States, next. We're going to enable location services, next. I'm going to choose my router here, so that's my time capsule. So we're connected, let's click next. So now we have three options here. We can set up as a new iPod Touch, restore from an iCloud backup, or restore from an iTunes backup. Now, I do not have an iCloud backup, but with iOS 5 and iCloud, you could back up your iPod Touch. And so instead of having to sync to iTunes on your computer to restore it, you can simply grab it from the cloud. What I really want to do is restore from an iTunes backup, but that's going to take a while. So let's go ahead and set up as a new iPod just so we can take a look. Now, in order to activate the device, I have to sign in with my Apple ID. If you do not have one, you can create one. I already have one, so let's get started with that. All right, so I've entered my ID. Let's click Next. All right, so I have to agree to my terms and conditions, and I can send this by email, but I'm just going to click Agree. Of course, I've read it thoroughly. Next, it wants me to know if I want to use iCloud or don't use iCloud. iCloud uh, shares your photos, apps, contacts, calendars, and more, and wirelessly pushes them to your devices. So basically, this is the wireless syncing feature that uh, we've heard a lot about with iOS 5. So if you have more than one iOS 5 device, like an iPad or an iPhone, this will stay synced with those devices thanks to iCloud. So I definitely want to use that. Click Next. Now, next up, it wants to know if I want to back up to iCloud. So I'll store it in the cloud, store the backup of this device in the cloud, or do so on my computer. I, I prefer to do it on my computer, so let's click Next. 
Now you can also enable for free with iCloud, Find My iPod Touch. This is the same as the Find My iPhone feature that most people are familiar with, so we definitely want to use that. So basically, if we misplace the iPod Touch and it's connected to a Wi-Fi network, we're able to find it uh, geographically uh, on the map. So let's click Next. And it wants to know if I want to automatically send diagnostic information, so sure, what the heck. Next. So there we go, we have iOS 5 in its standard configuration and we never had to touch a computer to get to it. Now just for comparison's sake, we have the white and black iPod Touch here and again, there is no hardware difference. They still have the same Retina display without the IPS technology. So uh, when you look from a side, you can see it sort of turns that blue color. Uh, otherwise, it looks the same. The back certainly looks the same, complete with the fingerprints. So we have the same camera, volume controls, iPod logos are the same. Uh, this is an 8-gig model and that's a 32-gig uh, model. Uh, if we look at the bottom, you can see we have the same headphone jacks with the black inserts, same with the dock connectors and the speaker grills. Same with the two cameras and the microphone as well as the black uh, sleep-wake button. And on the side, we have the same black volume controls. And on the front, you can see the same FaceTime cameras behind the glass. Clearly, uh, it's more invisible on the black model than the white model. Of course, the white iPod Touch joins the white iPad as well as the white iPhone in uh, Apple's iOS 5 family, so we have a consistent color. So, in fact, if you compare the two, they look exactly the same, so there's no color variation as you might expect with a white product. Now, looking at the white versus the black, you can see the black looks a little more seamless and the display actually looks bigger, and that's because the black sort of matches the gaps and seams and holes for the camera and for the bezel and edge around the display. Now, with white, you see there's a gap between the LCD display and the frame so that's sort of highlighted with the white bezel but what I really like about the white bezel is that it doesn't show fingerprints as easily doesn't glare as badly and because both of these are not IPS displays they do tend to wash out and get a little bright from certain angles uh, with the black model you can see it's more highlighted with the uh, black bezel contrasting with the not so black level of the display with the white iPod touch that's not as prominent. I also really like how the white sort of shows off the glass construction of the front plate so you can see the thickness of the glass sort of looks more jewel-like. Uh, with the black you can't really see that, it sort of just disappears. But in the end they're both very good looking devices. It's definitely up to you. You can't go wrong with either one of them. But I'd love to know what you guys think. What's your favorite color of iPod touch? So once again guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the new white iPod touch fourth generation. Thanks for watching.